Get ready to experience the following six benefits as you make and enjoy the cultured dairy foods of this class. First, cultured dairy gives probiotics. Depending on what the cultured dairy food is, you'll consume a range of beneficial bacteria or yeast. Kefir, arguably the leader, can contain up to 50-something beneficial strains. And those organisms colonize your gut, keeping pathogens in check and guarding against illness. Second, cultured dairy improves digestion. The beneficial organisms in cultured dairy colonize your gut and help you get more nutrients from your food. The process of culturing, or souring, or fermentation breaks down casein, or milk protein. If the milk or cream was pasteurized in the beginning, culturing restores many of the enzymes that were destroyed. Those enzymes help the body absorb calcium and other minerals. Of particular interest is lactase, the enzyme which breaks down lactose, or milk sugar. Many people who are lactose intolerant can likely eat cultured dairy, such as yogurt, without ill effects. Next, cultured dairy adds vitamins. Vitamin B and vitamin C content increases during the culturing or souring of dairy foods. We can all use a good share of these each day. Fourth, cultured dairy sours rather than spoils. With raw milk, beneficial organisms are naturally present at the beginning. With pasteurized milk, beneficial organisms are added in the form of a mother culture. In either case, they colonize the milk. Over time, culturing increases the beneficial organism population and increases the lactic acid, both of which are natural means of preservation. In this acidic environment, with lots of good guys, the bad guys are not happy and don't survive. And whether or not you care for it, this culturing time also develops flavor. From an aged cheese to a super sour kefir, it's all normal behavior with cultured dairy. Another reason? Cultured dairy tastes great. So your family doesn't care for sauerkraut yet. Well, with all the cultured dairy foods out there, cultured butter, buttermilk, sour cream, cheddar or feta cheese, yogurt, kefir, just to name a few, your picky eater is bound to find something he or she likes. So let them eat up and get all the immune and digestive system benefits those foods offer, including probiotics, vitamins, and enzymes. And last but not least, cultured dairy embraces God's design. The Bible doesn't tell us that much about how to prepare our food, dairy included, but God's Word does tell us how highly milk is regarded. Exodus 3.8 says, And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good and large land, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. And also God's word says, And thou shalt have goat's milk enough for thy food, and for the food of thy household. That's in Proverbs 27. In that refrigeratorless, non-industrial promised land flowing with milk and honey, excess milk would have spontaneously soured and preserved itself. Since God put those beneficial organisms in the milk in the first place, I trust that was his plan. Let's embrace it.